Hello and welcome to The Gathering, a news channel dedicated to magic and gathering news from around the MTG world to keep you informed. I'm your host, the Wizard of the Post, reminding you to game daily. In today's episode, we cover KCI's banning, Ancient Stirrings and Mox Opal almost getting banned, Splinter Twin and Stoneforge Mystic potentially becoming unbanned, also Ravnica Allegiance pre-release weekend and draft weekend, as well as MTG Arena. On January 21st, Wizards announced the banning of Kark Clan Ironworks and Modern. Wizards stated in the press release, Games with Kark Clan Ironworks can often involve excessively arcane rules interactions using mana ability timing windows, the understanding which are necessary for players to agree on the game state. This can create a barrier to entry to modern players playing against this deck and those who would feel obligated to play with it because of its strong win rate. We're sensitive to community feedback when the combination of polarized matchups. Complex interactions and long turns can lead to unenjoyable gameplay and viewing experiences. Also issued stern warnings were ancient stirrings and Mox Opal. However, they closed with this statement. As modern stands, our metagame data does not in indicate a need to impact other cards such as ancient stirrings or Mox Opal decks. However, they reiterated, bear in mind that this is based on current state of the metagame and that Ancient Stirrings and Mox Opal are not being given a free pass in perpetuity. While we have no current plans to take action against the two cards, we'll continue to monitor the health of the environment and strength of the decks that use them. Others dissented saying unbans were needed and we've improved the format further. The no ban list tournaments recently essentially showed that as long as Ivugan remained banned, the format was healthier overall and that banning KCI gives other decks, like Tron, a lock for the top spot with no real challenger. Continuing that thought, that if Splinter Twin and Stoneforge Mystic were unbanned, it would flatten the top decks across the format. We, however, want your opinion. Even Commons and Popper aren't immune, as Gush and Foil were mentioned. While our metagame data indicates that taking actions at this time would be premature, we will watch the format as decks adjust to play uh, with and against the combination. We appreciate continued community feedback on this topic through discussions on forums, in articles, and on social media. Magic Online also will ban KCI using a new system allowing for the removal of cards while the system is live. It neither impacts live players or active leagues. It simply removes the decks and reimburses the players and awarded prizes earned so far manually. Magic Online's Popper games will catch three bands, Hata Freeblade, Spatial Contortion, and Circle of Flame, since these cards were only printed as common as promotional cards. Reportedly, the same refunds and prizes will be awarded for players with these in their decks as well. Sticking with digital, MTG Arena has enacted some updates. Duplicate Protection is the first one. It essentially gives you a different rare or mystic once you hit four of a particular rare or mythic in the appropriate set. Once you hit all the rares in a particular set, you will be given gems instead. 20 for a rare, 40 for a mythic. Draft and sealed formats will still allow access to the cards, but once the event is finished, duplicates beyond four will be converted into gems for you. Also, with the next season starting January 31st, the ranked best of three series will begin. This will add a considerable amount of depth to the ladder and as well as metagame changes as it brings Arena more in line with how the game should be played. Ravnica Allegiance is live on Arena now and goes live everywhere on Friday, January 25th. This starts the sprint to rotation in October and helps give a basis for the metagame going forward. Overall, I love the Ravnica set for Standard and for Commander. It opens many doors in Pauper as well. Skewer the critics, I'm looking at you. However, in a limited format environment, I'm left extremely wanting. Having had numerous people in our shop end up with poorly itemized sealed packs leading to some events having zero mythics even being pulled. And then other sealed packs, including four dual lands and four lockets. Links to all our stories can be found in the description below. Thanks for tuning in. Leave us your comments on the KCI ban as well as the other popper effects on Magic Online. Join us in our Discord to help us playtest a completely new Magic format. Please hit the thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe, and ring that Cormus bell if you want to see more. I'm your host, the Wizard of the Post, and that was Magic.